Once again, well, ever since it was founded 36 years ago, Diocesan Migrant and Refugee Services has helped about half a million people get legal assistance, many of them fleeing war-torn countries for a much better life. But there is a big change on the horizon. Executive Director Melissa Lopez joins us now. Uh, thank you so much for making the time for us here thank on this you. Monday afternoon. Uh, so let's talk about this fundraising event that is happening on Friday. What are the details? What should we know? Sure, so we're having our fundraising dinner on Friday. Mm -hmm. um, the most exciting thing is that we're going to be unveiling a new name um, and yeah. a new logo. So we're making some changes. I have already asked. We can't get the sneak peek <laughs> just yet. you got to wait no. until Friday, yes. but it is exciting times. This is an organization that's been uh, well immersed in the mm -hmm. Borderland community for almost four decades now. What goes into making a little change like this? It's pretty significant. I mean, it's taken us about three years to yeah. get it all done. Um, and we went through a whole bunch of different options and it was a painful, um, not painful, it was a very thoughtful experience, yeah. <laughs> but, it's <laughs> but it's taken us about three years. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's talk about the, the work that is being done, though, doesn't change. The name no. and the logo might change, but the mission and the message are still the same. That's correct. We, we still continue to serve migrants in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, we serve an average of, of over 30,000 migrants wow. a year. So we want to make sure that people understand that even though we're changing our name, changing our logo, we're not changing who we are. What should people know about the fundraising event itself if they want to learn more information about uh, possibly getting a table, making a donation, where can they do that? So they can go to our website, www.dmrs-ep.org or any of our social media um, and they'll find links there. Mm -hmm. um, dinner starts at 5.30 and we um, are using the new Starlight um, Event Center. Okay. So we're excited about, about the new space. There it is, Friday from 5.30 until 9 p.m. Uh, there aren't a lot of organizations like this one really across the whole Southwest. Correct, we are um, the largest definitely in West Texas and, and New Mexico, um, and we're continuing to grow. We just got a, another grant, um, and so we will be expanding services to, to additional um, populations here in the near future. I'm always curious about when it comes to rebranding. You said it took three years and wasn't painful, but was <laughs> thoughtful, like you yeah. said. Uh, how many times did it change in those three years, going back and forth? I, there, I mean, we went through over a hundred different options. Really, that many? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so there were variations to it, and so it once we kind of came down to a final name, then we kind of had to make sure that we really liked it. And so we went back, kind of looked again at some of the options, and really decided this was the one. This past year, of course, there have been uh, plenty of news stories about mm -hmm. the influx of migrants. I'm sure your work has gone up. It's mm -hmm. pretty, if you're doing 30,000 a year, it's pretty steady, but has this past year been especially uh, difficult or challenging for you guys in any way, providing it, legal service? Yeah, it really has, because it's become a little bit more unpredictable than the typical, right, what we yeah. typically see. Um, and so we've had to be a little bit more nimble in terms of how we provide services. Um, but we've been really lucky to have some, some grants that have allowed us to do that, to get out into the community yeah. and, to, and to serve um, as many people as we can. Anything else you want to add or anything we should know about Friday's events or about the work you do? Um, the most important thing, I think, again, is that we are changing our name, we are changing our mm -hmm. logo, but we're not changing who we are. We yeah. want people to know that. Um, and we look forward to you coming to um, our dinner on Friday. Well, congratulations on 36 years so far. Here's to 36 more. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. Stay tuned.